Hi everyone, so for today's look, I decided to play around with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So this is a really nice blown out, messy kind of cat eye, and I really like how the look turned out. So I started out by using my Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush and my eye pencil from Malibu Glitz in the shade Brick. And I just use this as my base because the color that I'm going to put down from the palette is very similar to this color and I really wanted to really intensify the shadow. I'm also using this eye pencil as sort of a map for my shadows. So I'm creating that cat eye shape with the pencil as well. So the first color that I took from the palette was Buen Fresco, and this is a cool toned mauve shade. And I took my Sonar Lace EB13 brush and I just kind of messily placed this onto my crease and up into my brow bone, but leaving the arch area clean of that color. So then with my Party Queen blending brush, it's kind of like a 217 brush, I took Red Ochre, which is kind of like a reddened brick shade, and I placed this onto my lid and I extended this color outwards to create that cat eye look. And this is kind of what makes the look. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. So to deepen up my eye look, I took Antique Bronze, which is kind of like a bronzy rose gold. And I took my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush, and I placed this color into the socket of my crease. And then I also blended it up uh, towards the beginning of my brows as well to deepen that up as well. I really wanted this to be really blown out and smoked out. So then I took Tempera to kind of brighten up this look and I use this as my brow and highlight. I placed this up into the arches of my brows with the Party Queen Taper Blending Brush. This is kind of like a shell beige color. It's really pretty and it definitely helps to kind of make this look cohesive. And then I took the Soho Blending Brush which is one of my favorite blending brushes and I kind of just blended all the colors together to really uh, make everything seamless. And then I took the same Party Queen Taper Blending Brush and I dipped it into Buen Fresco and I kind of just added this into the inner corners a little bit because I felt like this color kind of got lost. And then uh, I also took Red Ochre using the same brush that I used to place it on my lids. I just added this color, I just kind of deposited this color back into my lids because uh, it kind of got dimmed out. Okay, so moving on to my face, I will go back to my eyes in a second, but I'm taking the Botanics Mattifying Gel Cream and I'm using this as my moisturizer and my base for this look. So then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, actually one product but two different colors but for two different things. So I'm using the Jordana Complete Cover. It's a 2-in-1 concealer and foundation product and I really love this. So for my concealer, I use the shade Creamy Natural and I love this as a concealer. It's very natural, but it still gives me the perfect amount of coverage. And then uh, for my foundation, I am using Honey Olive, which is slightly darker. And you guys, I just, I love this foundation. It's not cakey, it's not overly matte, it's hydrating, but it's not too hydrating. It's honestly one of the most perfect drugstore foundations and concealers in the market. And in case you guys are wondering, I'm using the Wander Cushion from Wander Beauty to blend my uh, concealer and my foundation. So I have learned through trial and error that it's actually best to place your blush and your highlighter before you set your face because your blush and your highlighter will last longer. So I'm taking the NYX Blush and Raisin. This is the perfect like mauve shade and that's kind of the color that I'm going for for this look. And then for my highlight, I felt like a pink highlighter would be appropriate. So I'm using the Ofra and Dupe That Collab Highlighter in You Glow Girl. I do, though, set my face before I bronze and I contour. Uh, and let me gush about this product for a second. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is amazing stuff. This is the first colorless powder to combine hyaluronic acid. And so it's essentially a makeup product with skincare benefits. And I love this stuff. It fills in my fine lines, especially underneath my eyes. It evens my pores and imperfections. And it takes away my shine without drying my skin, which is very very important since I like, do have dry skin so I just I love this so much I just feel like it makes my skin look so much better and it even feels so much better and um, it is very fine so I like to make sure that I dust out any of the excess powder 
So to finish off my eye look, I'm taking one fresco again. I'm kind of using this sort of as my transition shade for my lower lash line. I'm just buffing this color in with the Soeva Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And then I'm taking red ochre again using the same brush. And just placing this color right on top of Bren Fresco. And again, just buffing this color in my lower lash line. Just really smoking this out. So for my highlight, I'm using Vermeer. Vermeer is a very pretty ballet pink. It's very shimmery. It's gorgeous. And I'm taking a Sony Kashuk uh, concealer brush because it's very tapered and dense and pointy because I really just wanted it uh, in my inner corners. I didn't really want to extend the highlight too much. So I decided to go with a brown liner because I feel like I wanted to make this look a little bit soft. So I took the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in black brown and um, I just I like the way that that turned out it wasn't too stark of a color you guys know I rarely do falsies and I did not put any falsies today but I did for my lashes put the Kevin Aquan uh, lash curler and I love it and then for mascara I used the Sephora lash stretcher this is actually pretty good it's called the maximum extension mascara and I feel like for my short lashes this actually does something so uh, that's something to be happy about so yeah um, so I actually kept the clip of me uh, applying my mascara because I was pretty happy with it so we're almost done with this look the last part is the lips I actually did a little lip combination I used the Kat Von D lipstick the Sudikas lipstick and Agatha to kind of uh, mute down my natural color of my lips and then I took one of the new Vice lipsticks from Urban Decay in the shade Oblivion which is a mega matte it's a beautiful taupey mauve and this color combination is just gorgeous guys absolutely love it so that completes my look guys i hope that you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one love you guys